Hi, welcome back to my channel Nas Bags and Cooks. I'm back again with a very interesting recipe and I'm sure you'll love it. If you want to know it, please watch my video patiently till the end. Let's get started now. Here I have one medium-sized ripe mango. I have washed it very thoroughly. Let's peel the skin and after that slice it. I'm going to make a puree of this. In this way, I have made the puree, you can see. Here I have some homemade cheese cream. I'm going to use this for the recipe. I've placed a saucepan on the stove. Into this, I'm going to add around one cup of condensed milk. I'm keeping the flame on low. Now I add the homemade cheese cream. I'm going to use only 250 gram of it. Let's stir the mixture continuously, otherwise you know it will stick at the bottom and there is a chance of getting burnt also at the bottom. So it's very necessary to continuously keep on stirring it. I will keep on cooking till the moisture evaporates. You can see it has started boiling. Don't forget to keep on stirring continuously as I'm doing. Since the condensed milk is very sweet, I haven't added any extra sugar to it. If you want, you can add as per your taste. Now I'm going to add the mango puree. I'm going to cook this till the moisture is completely evaporated and it becomes thick. You can see that there is still lots of moisture into it. So keep on cooking by stirring it continuously. Don't lose your patience because this recipe needs a little bit of patience then later on you'll see the result is outstanding. Slowly and slowly the mixture is becoming thick, isn't it? Let's cook for some more time.
yes it's almost done you can see it has started leaving the sides of the pan so now I'm going to remove the pan from the stove here I have a baking tray I have already greased it with some clarified butter on all the sides now I drop the mixture and with the help of this spatula I have leveled it evenly on all the sides let's keep this aside for some time to cool and after that I'm going to pop it inside the fridge and keep it for around an hour so after an hour you can see it has nicely set now let's cut into desired shapes I'll take out on the plate and show you how does our burfi look like. Wow, just look at this. I have garnished with some dry fruits, pistachios and almonds. You can take any dry fruits of your choice. So this is our mango burfi it's very simple to make it doesn't need much ingredients also but yes little bit of patience is needed for this recipe do try this Simple and mouth-watering mango burfi. You'll fall in love. And this is the right season to make this burfi because now in every market you will get varieties of mangoes. If you succeed in making this burfi at home, you'll never feel like buying from the market. Believe me, the taste is just amazing and wonderful. Just look at the burfis again. It looks so moist and grainy. My mouth is watering. I'll break one and show you. It's so soft and it's breaking so easily, isn't it? So if you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And yes, please do comment also. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently.